Let me describe a little one, a six-year-old boy, who found himself in therapy with me, really experiencing coming to me as a violation. Now, this little boy was being referred because he had, along with a classmate, been violated in the bathroom by an older boy. What happened is that he never told anybody. He kept it a secret. So a few days later, when the other victim told the school administration, he had that experience of shame and the words and the description made it even harder for him to be in his own skin. You could see that he was tightening up and wanting to disappear. That's how it felt. Mm -hmm. so has to see the school counselor where they talk about it, uh -huh. which did not work. So by the time they came to me, knowing that I use these different modalities, knowing that the sensory motor psychotherapy orientation allows for many different ways of playing, of being, of relating, as he came and as the story started, I could see again he was wanting to disappear. And I said, I wonder what would happen if you told me, instead of with words, if you use the drum and you communicated your experience and you communicated the trauma. Mm -hmm. And he looked at the drum, which we have lots of drums sitting in our room, especially uh -huh. because there's so many group, groups that meet in my office. So there are five or six different size drums. And I said, why don't you select one of the drums, which gave him an opportunity to get up, to choose a drum, he looked uh -huh. a little curious, and then holding on to the drum, he started to beat with his hands. He was giving me, without words, the story of what happened. Mm. At the end of doing that... And just be maybe, before you get there, so, so what was that like? How does, what's the rhythm? How, can, how, could you describe what, what this kid was, was doing and, and uh, how it, how he, what, a, what a visceral moment from what you're describing? It was so powerful to watch him drum so softly mm. and tentatively mm -hmm. and cautiously. And you could see that's how his body is in the world. It wasn't a firm drum beat. It was more of a tiny, quiet, mm. I'm not safe here with you, Bonnie. I'm not safe in the room. I'm yeah. not safe in the world. And mm -hmm. it also lets us know how he is in the world this is a boy who would be pushed off the swings. This is a boy who really didn't have, he hadn't yet developed those important resources. So I'm gleaning information in this first session mm -hmm. of where I want to go as the therapist and what tools I want to give him. Yeah.